Hello, hello everybody, it's boy Prof Chof, and we're back again with a new video. This is Concord, the biggest flop in history. I heard about it, I don't know much about it, so let's find out some stuff about it. Let's go. This is the biggest flop in video game history. I mean, the first answer that comes to mind is like, what? How is that? for the Atari 2600. Dang, that was so bad I wasn't born then, so I can't say were anything. were apparently buried in the desert. Damn. Led to the collapse of the entire video game industry. Okay, part of that's true. Part Did part it. That is... Not entirely true. But yeah. either way, no. E.T. is not the biggest flop in gaming history. Uh -huh. For one, the game actually sold hey, a lot well. of games. I sold. mean, it didn't sell as well as Atari expected, but it sold over a million units. And also, I mean, this was back in the day. Games were not popular back in the day. Okay, it cost wasn't that yet. much to make in the early days of video games. The average cost to develop a game like this was hundreds of thousands of dollars. It made and then the rest money. Would go into marketing. Nowadays, it's Maybe pretty then. common for a lot of games to cost over two mi 200 million. Damn. Hundreds of millions of dollars. That's without... And then they still got to pay for marketing. Yeah, marketing. Since we don't normally get exact budgets and sales numbers for a lot of games, we got to do some guesswork. And one of the easiest ways to do this <laughs> is to look at the concurrent from player Boy count on Steam. How many people are playing Question at the mark? same time? Yes, I know most people who are playing video games probably aren't just on Steam, but True. it's the only metric we have, and we can kind of extrapolate from there. The biggest games will have a few hundred thousand ba players playing. Banana. Who's playing banana? Who's playing with a banana? What are you doing with the banana? Huh? All at once. Some will even manage to break into the millions. Mm. Of course, it's extremely embarrassing. It's a game suicide like squad. Suicide thing. Kill the Justice League, a AAA massive live service by WB, only managed to have a peak Oof. player counts of 13. Thousand players. God this game probably damn. cost hundreds of millions of dollars to make. And yeah. for a live service, this meant oh. it was basically dead on arrival. But I even mean, single player games can such motherfuckers get for killing Batman. Flop. God damn it. Forspoken. Remember that? Oh God. Yeah, that had a peak of twelve. Bro, I'm gonna be honest with you, I was kinda hyped for this game. I saw the gameplay on the first trailer and it looked good. There was combos, the gameplay looked decent. 579 yeah. My bad. players. My For context, bad. the five-year-old indie game Risk of Rain 2 has almost 30,000 really really players play this. as of the time I'm writing this. Skull and Bone, 40,000 players what was that? as of the time I'm writing this. Bank? Risk of Rain, you do servers from... Oh. Skull and Bones, Ubisoft's infamous quadruple A pirate peace. adventure. Oh my god, another game I was hyped for. Bro, they promised me Black Flag multiplayer. That's what they promised me. Turns out they gave me none of that shit. Couldn't even sell one god damn million it. units. Deserved. It sold way less copies than Hot Wheels Unleashed, which did not cost hundreds Hot of millions Hot Wheels of dollars Unleashed. to make. Looks and good. at least so far, these three games have been easily the top contenders for the biggest flops of all time in terms of money of all spent time? Really? and money earned. Except for maybe Babylon's Fall. I have no, not heard of Babylon. That. What but this all changed. That? With Concord. Concord. When I want to ride a bike or row a boat, or we imagine I'm rowing a real boat. We're adding? In the description. So this okay. game was developed by X Bungie Fire staff. Walk. It had a lot of hype surrounding it because of that fact a few years ago. Okay. Couple this with the fact that it was a PlayStation Studios game. And people expected this would be the next big thing. But that hype died okay. away. The How did I never hear about this then? moment the first trailer dropped it looked like another generic hero shooter you know I mean, a game where players select from a cast of looks like characters Overwatch a little unique bit. powers and work as a team to complete Does that look objectives. That bad? another overwatch clone in 2024 <laughs> not only that the game hey, listen consider how shit overwatch 2 is currently we kind of need one of these games it looked like an good. obvious guardians of the galaxy knockoff it was clearly inspired by the films which is just weird because it's like it's, it's it's not Guardians of the Galaxy. <laughs> yeah. Of course, there was other problems. What the hell? But no. Yo, that's a big ass motherfucker. Looks like uh, looks like uh, the the dude from Doom, but it's like. XXL. We'll have to get to that in a bit. Now, honestly, most people did expect Wukong? Concord to be a flop. I think everybody, with the exception of maybe a few journalists, knew this was 
This what is was that going fat down, robot? But nobody knew how like bad it trash could do. Can. I mean, after all, the main competition <gasps> oh Overwatch God. 2 isn't really doing that great at the yeah. moment. Valve is developing its own okay. hero shooter. But this I'm kind of hyped for. Let me know what y'all think about this. I got sent the key. I might try it out on stream, okay? It's not publicly available right now. And Marvel Rivals, yet another hero shooter, is set to arrive in December. Marvel so Rivals? It's not out yet. Oh, so game oh little cute Kura kind of thing. Not really. Not really. Kind of hyped. Now, this game was $40, just for the, and just those the other titles are free, but hey, Sony just released a live service for $40. Yeah, and they did a great job with that, almost killing the game. Mm -hmm. That turned out pretty well for them. Yeah, and then what happened, huh? This game also bypassed the microtransactions and battle passes up front, just offering a complete package, Life. which is something a lot of people said they wanted. But even still, this game is almost definitely the biggest flop. Brother, what the hell? What? In How is that possible? History. We don't know the exact budget. Oh, yeah, it thousand? could be 50 million, 100 million, 150, or even 200 or more. We don't know. But we know it cost a lot of money. Sony had wow. huge expectations for this project. It took eight years to develop. They already approached Amazon's gaming Amazon anthology TV secret series, level. Secret Level, to make a Concord episode. That was a secret The level. only other franchise that has a dedicated episode by PlayStation is God of War. Oh, this wow. This was supposed to be a big deal. Less people are playing Concord on Yo, Steam than the... 200 in the Wait, it's a multiplayer game. Can you even play this shit with these little people? Like, how can you even find a game? The number of developers who made the game. Damn. Now, to be fair, on PlayStation, where the game is plastered all oh, over we don't that know store front there? page, there is definitely more players, but probably not too is many. Is it uh, cross this console? This not in the top 10 games sold for the week, or the top 20, or the top 30. Top and for a new game, 42. for a AAA game, for a AAA live service console exclusive game this is dead on arrival Damn. i would be astonished if it's still around this time next year and it's difficult to convey Yo, how big sadness. of a disaster this was this is the kind of game that will live in the history books something that the executives will study <laughs> relentlessly to figure out what was went that? wrong what was that so what, what went, went wrong? wrong yeah so i bought the game uh wanted oh, to see God. what's i bought jazz brother What's the big deal? And honestly, there is a time trial mode in the game where you go around and shoot targets and dodge obstacles and stuff. Uh -huh. And I did terrible in my extremely oh. unoptimized run. Yeah, I don't know if the performance is bad or just he recorded it like that, but it does not look good. And I'm still in the top 20 players in the world. That's how <laughs> few people. What is this trash can this robot, by the way? What is that thing? This game. So why did it fail? Uh, uh, I guess first of me? all, we, we could talk about the pricing. The okay. game cost $40. That is a barrier of entry that the other competitors don't yeah, have. Yeah, they're free the now. competitors that are free to play. <laughs> yeah. It just doesn't look very unique. Looks kind of generic. Trash People can robot. I pay $40 for something that looks like a Guardians of the Galaxy knockoff when the competitors are again free. But yeah. number three, the, the third okay. thing. My question is, if they had so much money and if it's Guardians of the Galaxy, why did they not feature any of the Guardians of the Galaxy characters? That would have probably brought some people in. I need my real right cool motherfucker. Where's my Groot? The culture Where's Batista? The That's co it. Going mask off. 40K? Knowledge husk exposed. So if you don't know, the culture knowledge, war started the back in that? the 2010s when the hipsters had a great schism amongst themselves. What is going half on? Half of them were really into Sleater Kinney and Frappes, and the other half was into Electro Swing. I, was, and I thought that was Boris for a sec. <laughs> they started fighting, and it kind of just went off the rails from there. Most people hate elves. don't know anything about Concord except for two things. I don't know shit they know about that Concord. It has these character designs, and that the robot has pronouns in its bio oh this my god why the fuck does the robot need pronouns can you fuck the robot can the robot fuck you if the answer to those questions is no he don't need no goddamn pro pronouns he's a robot at best you need to make him cute that brings people in got the okay. game memed into why oblivion. is that bitch all the moment hell? it was revealed it was doomed the to hell? be labeled as peak cringe by the internet oh, i by mean the target she does look kind of cringe my graphic Yes, if it was a free game, it would have more players. Yes, if Brother. it was a single player game, it would have more players. Uh, if it wasn't a hero not shooter, it wasn't so generic, it would have more players. 
But the problem here is not that the game didn't have enough players, it's that it didn't have any players. <laughs> this is a disaster, unlike anything the gaming oh industry has God. seen before. And I, I, you just I mean, gotta ask yourself. Listen, what might happen in a month is that it might just become free, and then it might get up in popularity a little itself. bit. What makes this game Yo, different it's a big than boy. so many others? A lot of it's the character designs. It is. If Concord had the same character designs as the first hey, Descendants, God damn. each hero looked like this, do well, you think that... Okay, it... listen, you don't need to make them exactly like uh, like this. This is this is a little over the top. But... The game would have sold more or less They copies. definitely need a gut, And of okay. course, I can't ignore the monkey Wukong? in the room. Black Myth Wukong, That's a game single player from a game, Chinese brother. studio based on Journey to the West, managed to sell 10 million copies in three... Okay, first of all, that doesn't matter. This is a single player game. The other thing is a multiplayer game. Not the same player base by a mile, okay? ...days th this week. Yes, many by of these sales are going to be from the game's home country, but a lot are still from Americas, in the Europe's, and Dude, whatever matter. other places are out there. It is by far game. the top-selling game on PlayStation right now. As opposed to the game that was made by <laughs> PlayStation Concord. that nobody's playing. So why are so many people interested in playing this random Chinese action game as opposed to- Why are we talking about this? It's a single player game and it's good. To I, I'm confused. Concord. Well, I don't think this I mean, has anything to do with it. Wukong looks fun, but like not, not 10 million copies in three days fun. That is pretty much unparalleled numbers except mm. for the biggest releases in gaming history. This game is getting absurd concurrent numbers on Steam. And I think the reason for this is, again, the culture war. We're seeing a reverse boycott. I don't think that's it. I, I'm pretty sure Wukong is doing so well because we've never had a AAA game with uh, Asian lore, good Asian lore, with good translation ever, actually. Have we had a good game like that? I don't think we've had. I think that's why it's doing so well. It's people so are interested the in the lore. GTA Just we've never had a good 2000s, medium to get it. Every to. news outlet was saying how it. bad Grand Theft Auto was for the moral health of our society. Was how the it? games were degenerate and evil and bad and so on. I and mean, so they kind forth. of are. <laughs> now, what did this do? This gave GTA more publicity. Gamers heard that this GTA was problematic. It was a forbidden fruit, and it got them curious. <laughs> and now, oh, decades God. later, GTA is as big as any game mm. can get. Not because it's still that forbidden fruit. It's really not. It's just good but games, bro. It got the ball rolling. The same yeah. thing happened with Black Myth Wukong. Game journalists have had a bone to pick with this Wait, game. Wait, how Black Myth developers' history of sexism is complicating his journey to the West? A while for reasons that I'm not really gonna but long story short they kept saying don't play this game don't play this game and just like GTA it got people curious <laughs> people started to ask why shouldn't I play this game is it really that problematic on the other hand Concord was seen as the safe friendly broad marketable was it I thought people listen if, if you tell gamers that this game features the characters guy it's gonna be some drama I'm pretty sure this had drama if anybody heard about it so it should have worked the same way for this game as well. Cringe. You get to this point where there First are off, two okay, let's talk about something. First off, the people that are fighting wars about the pronouns are not gamers. They don't play video games probably ever. Okay, so you can't sell ga games to those people. They don't really play games. Okay, you need some games to gamers. Completely unrelated games and unrelated genres that are getting compared <laughs> because one represents the establishment. And the other okay. represents the thing that the game journalists. I'm gonna be honest with you. I think you dude is confused. I don't think this has anything to do with it. Monkey game Absolutely buy it none. Simply because an article Personally. on IGN made them angry? No, probably not. But it got people talking. They bought the game. They told their friends. And just like GTA, it only got bigger from there. As for Concord, people just saw clips of it online. They saw the I mean, memes and they thought, "Wow." As I said, personally, I'd never heard anything about Concord. Before, like a couple of days ago, people said, Oh, you heard about the Concord flop? And I was like, No, fuck is a Concord. Oh, this looks like robot. I'm not gonna buy that. I'm not gonna play that. And if you want one short, quick, concise answer to why Concord failed, that is it. This is it. But if you want a longer one, I can provide that as well. All right. Okay, so do you know how long it took Naughty Dog to make the original Uncharted? Okay. It took two years. Ah, fuck, I was gonna guess Started four. Started development in 2005, released good. in 2007. Concord took 
eight years to make. So what? This is no, astonishing. That's... This is There must have been some baffling. problems there. I mean, I've, I've played the game. It feels polished. I believe okay. that a lot of work went into this. But eight it doesn't years look that is bad. wild. I mean, it's free, I might give it a try. That's a long time in terms of culture. Imagine yeah. if the original Uncharted... Why are we talking about culture so much? I, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think culture had anything to do with this game's flop. It took eight years to make. That would have meant that it started development in 1999. The gaming industry changed a whole yeah. lot in these eight years. Yeah. The top grossing game that released in 1999 was not some action game or some FPS. Damn, it was Donkey Kong 64. Fuck. And the original Pokemon games were still Donkey topping all nuts. the sales charts. GameSpot's Game of the Year was Soul Calibur. If Naughty Dog did start developing Uncharted in 1999, they would have no idea what the gaming landscape, what culture would even look like by the year 2007. Naughty Dog was releasing games like Crash Team Race <laughs> around this time so yeah a lot can happen in eight years so now in 2024 we got to go back eight years ago and see when concord began development what was going or through their heads one? and oh Probably. it's 2016 the big game was overwatch yeah. the original overwatch a game that was not initially okay i'm a biased. i've seen so much nsfw shit with overwatch play. i'll this big why fan it makes just sense that. that concord isn't free to play that standard didn't exist when this game began development guardians of the galaxy was one of the most I, popular IP. it could have easily change that to make it sweet the idea of big team ups and wacky characters was ingrained in culture live services were still a novel and interesting idea on game consoles or frame they were golden gooses banana they kept laying golden eggs the gift banana with eggs giving and Confusion? also there was, there was a lot of culture war stuff going on in 2016 remember ghostbusters 2016 yeah. it felt like a new american civil war was gonna break out over discourse of this film I maybe this is this. what the developers imagine people would want eight years from then maybe these decisions were made i mean late. maybe the developers had brain problems or lack of brains if they thought clearly, that this long development cycle did not do this game any favors and what does it have to show for it the visuals the graphics yeah, visuals I mean, yeah are... it looks impressive a lot of work went does it into motion capture but that also meant that they couldn't change the character designs after Big the massive Doom guy. backlash. Doom girl. All of those fancy Doom textures something. and particle effects and animations Doom. and graphics did literally nothing to save this game from being the biggest flop of all time. If you need proof that good graphics alone don't result in good sales figures, oh, yeah. this is it. That's some bro Nowadays, every game has, at the very least, okay graphics right like graphics are no longer the thing that was back in the day back in the day the difference between good graphics and bad graphics was like holy shit it was like 3 to 10 now it's like good graphics is like let's put it 8.5 bad graphics nowadays would be like what six seven they're still good they're just not that good this right here i don't think i remember also, a game nowadays coming out with bad graphics you can't just have good gameplay either because the that's, gameplay is That is absolute bullshit. In a multiplayer game, having good gameplay is one of the most important things. That bad. There's so many other external I mean, factors. It's not that, that bad. You don't know if it's that, that bad. You've played it for like how long? First off. Second off, I don't know. I don't know why this didn't this work out. Did they not Look, this game is too bloated. Pay for There's ads way and too shit? many cooks in this kitchen all trying to check off boxes of what they imagined would result in the largest number of possible sales. They wanted to yeah, appeal did, to everybody, they did a and by bad doing job. that, they appealed to really no bad job. I think it's horrifying to think about what Sony could have spent their time and money on instead of Concord. Like, for one, they could have not shut down Japan Studio. Japan Studio? A new twist in metal. Honestly, Damn. I would have taken PlayStation Home 2 the over this. That? Companies will analyze this failure for years to come, because it did everything... Okay, I, first off, I don't know if they will, because I don't know if anybody heard about this game to hear about the failure, but... We'll see, I guess. Wrong. And that's unique. This is a unique <laughs> oh way God. to fail. But I imagine Sony <laughs> already knows It's a pathetic this. word to See, fail. for a while, Sony has been trying to push for more live service games mm. from its biggest franchises. Last How does that work out Online, for Horizon Online. <laughs> and Bungie, who they acquired a few years ago, was supposed to be in <laughs> oh charge of managing God. all of this. 
But it turns out the situation at Bungie was, at every was just a complete point. mess. Financially, management-wise, stuff was bad. Oof. Stuff is really Laying bad. Off a lot of projects employees. from PlayStation Wait. Studios got canceled. A lot of live services. A lot of Bungie staff got laid off. And Bungie was basically restructured. At the time, so I thought Bungie's this was no longer Bungie. pretty drastic. I mean, Sony had spent a lot of money on Bungie. Damn, and looking back, bill. maybe this was, in part, due to Concord. Like, Sony would have had the pre-order numbers on this game... I doubt that. And like, it would have been in the single or double digits for Steam. You know, it would have been bad. This, this is astonishing to me. I've never seen a game fail this badly in terms of, you know, just money. This game was such a catastrophe. It probably changed how Sony views live service games. Good. You should have just made a new kill zone, Sony. Brother, good. Okay, I think we're done. I think, I think. Yeah, enough about culture. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I... Yeah, this this game. I, I mean, to be honest, it doesn't look that good. It looks okay. I would definitely try this game if it was free, for a little bit. It's forty bucks, so I'm definitely not giving forty bucks to try this piece of shit. But when they make it free in a month, I'll probably give it a shot. <laughs> they probably will make it free in a month. Anyway, let me know what y'all think. If any of you tried it, probably not seeing the calculations. And uh, yeah, see y'all next time. Bye, everybody. Have a good day.